G'day and welcome to the Auto Data Training Workshop. Another tech tip for you today, and today I want to talk about the coloured dots on the tyres. So this new tyre here has a yellow dot here and a red dot here, but there's a bit of confusion over what these dots actually mean. Let me go through it with you. When they manufacture a tyre, the yellow dot means that's the lightest part of the tyre. Okay, it's a yellow dot, lightest part of the tyre. During manufacture, they run it up, they spin it, and if it's got a hop in it, they'll put that at the highest point or the maximum hop of the tyre. So when you go to fit this, there's a couple of things you should do. First of all, I'll just pick this rim up. This steel rim, admittedly we get a lot of alloys these days, but we still get some steel rims. Have a look around the rim, there's two different designs. This one here, when they've manufactured it, to allow for the metal missing out of the drill hole, they've added a little balance weight welded on there. I don't know whether you can see that little bit of steel there. So this one here, the rim assembly has been balanced. So if I was going to fit up the tyre to this, obviously that tyre won't fit on this rim, but it's the same explanation. What I would do is I'd get the yellow dot, the lightest part of the tyre, and I'd line it up to the tyre valve. This rim here, if you have a look around, if you look closely, you can see a countersink drill mark there. Not all rims have it, but quite a lot do. Sometimes it's just a painted dot, a red spot. What that means is, during manufacture without the tyre on it, they've run the rim up and it's going like that. So if you've got a rim going like that and a tyre going like that, we need to match it up so it runs true. This here is the lowest spot of the rim. So if I've got a countersink drill mark, I'll get the new tyre and I'll line the red dot to the countersink drill mark or the red dot on the tyre to the red dot on the rim. That way I'm going to have less radial run out. So just to recap, the two dots on the tyres, yellow dot is the lightest spot of the tyre. If there's no markings on the rim, put that to the tyre valve. The red dot is the highest spot of the tyre. If you've got a rim that's been pre-balanced and they've got a countersink drill mark or a red dot, you line the red dot to the red dot. And I have actually seen red dots on mag wheels as well. So if you've got any qu questions, please leave them in the comments, or if you'd like to have access to our full library, why not get an Autodata training subscription today? Thanks for watching.